I knew when I hit him with the right hand, I saw him do the stinky leg a little bit. And, uh, you know, so I was like, this is my moment to capitalize. I didn't want to let him, uh, you know, catch his bearings and, you know, turn it back into a fight. So I just wanted to make sure that I put him away when I had the, the chance to do so. Because the commentary, commentators were saying that they didn't know if it was leg that was hurt, but it didn't look like it was leg at all. When you were in the cage, did you think he wasn't out and maybe it was something else other than him being rocked? No, it 100% was his, uh, it was the right hand that, that landed. I hit him, I landed it. Um, in the heat of the moment, you're not really too sure how clean the shot lands, uh, adrenaline's going and things like that. But I knew when I hit him and I looked at him, I, like I said, I saw his leg kind of, you know, do a little bit of a salsa dance. So I knew he was kind of on ice skates and that was my opportunity to put him away. And last question, a lot of fighters, when they get someone hurt, sometimes they like to jump on them and, and use their grappling or jujitsu. And you went in there to just finish with punches. What goes into your head when it's, do I finish by submission or do I try to get the TKO? I knew he was wobbled. I knew if I would have started grappling with him, that might have given him a couple moments to just recover and, like I said, you know, get his bearings back. So I just wanted to keep putting the hands on him. Clearly, I got enough power in my hands, you know, to, to get the job done. So I just I just kept doing what I did to get there, and um, you know, the, the ref came in and broke it up. I appreciate your time.